Hello everybody and welcome to another biology video and whoa it's a miracle I'm still alive despite the fact that I love spiders and snakes. Today I'm going to be telling you all about vipers. Vipers are venomous and very cool, that's certain. But there are of course reasons for their awesomeness, which is what I'm going to be telling you about today. The viperidae, or just vipers, are a family of venomous snakes with long and flexible fangs. Vipers are extremely widespread and can be found pretty much everywhere in the world, except for Australia. That doesn't mean that Australia doesn't have its own unique snakes. There are two main subfamilies of vipers, the viperines and the crotalines, or true vipers and pit vipers. The difference between them is that pit vipers have heat-sensitive pits that can help with hunting and tracking down the prey, while true vipers don't have any. One thing that all vipers have in common is that they have the ability to dose their venom and to tuck in their fangs when they're not using them. Vipers store their venom in venom glands, which are located in the backs of their heads, which helps answer the burning question. How do you tell a non-venomous snake from a venomous snake or a viper? Non-venomous snakes often have slightly triangular and not at all broad heads, while venomous snakes and vipers have very triangular and very broad heads, which gives them more room to store their venom. Another way to differentiate non-venomous snakes from a venomous snake or a viper is to look at the pupils. Non-venomous snakes usually have round pupils, however venomous snakes have pupils that are like those of a cat, like a slit in the center of the eye. But there is always an exception, isn't there? In this case, it's the coral snake, which is extremely venomous, yet still has round pupils. Another interesting fact about vipers is that all female vipers incubate their eggs inside of their bodies for approximately six months. Then the eggs hatch while they're still inside of the bodies and the female vipers give birth to live babies, almost like mammals. But comparing vipers to mammals is pretty ambitious. I encountered my first viper under a wooden railing in Costa Rica. This viper was an eyelash viper. Actually, we saw a lot of creatures under those wooden railings, and I mean from zombie ants to hammerhead flies. Anyway, let's get back to eyelash vipers. The eyelash viper is actually a species of pit viper. You might notice that eyelash vipers have very large and luscious eyelashes, but don't let their attractiveness mislead you. The eyelashes are made of hard scales and are an effective tool for survival, believe it or not. The eyelash viper's venom isn't instantly fatal, which means that lizards and rodents can still claw at the eyes before they face an inevitable death, which makes a set of long, sturdy eyelashes pretty useful, seeing as they don't have protective goggles and they don't have eyelids. Gladly, eyelash vipers aren't very aggressive towards humans and will only strike if they feel threatened, unlike the very aggressive furred lance viper, which causes the most snake bites in Costa Rica. However, the eyelash viper's venom can be fatal to humans, as it has both the ability to paralyze its prey and to damage tissue by digesting it. This brings us to the European viper. Vipers are the most venomous snakes in the entirety of Europe, which is actually where I live. The European viper is the second most venomous viper species in Europe after the aspic viper, which lives in France. The European viper is not aggressive and only bites when it feels threatened, just like most other vipers. But its bites are still extremely painful. It feeds on small mammals, birds and their chicks, lizards, and even some small insects. By the way, this viper can actually be hunted by hedgehogs, the animal that you would least suspect. This is because hedgehogs actually have a resistance to the venom, which allows them to survive the bites and even to hunt the European vipers. Female European vipers only breed once every two or three years, which makes you think that babies are scarce. Gladly, European vipers aren't at all endangered. Sadly, some species of viper are losing their habitats due to deforestation, which is extremely unfortunate. We need to preserve nature and all of its beautiful creations. Vipers are no doubt some of the most exquisite and intricate creatures that roam the earth today. So let's keep it that way. I am That's not tensed! <laughs> You're autistic. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm to blame. 
think about it. Okay. Just think about this funny snake with big eyes. <laughs> that would help you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just laugh every time that I think about that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Look at the cam because it loses you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the cam. <laughs> Look at the bloody cam! <laughs> good old days. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nostalgia. <laughs> what? Look into the cam. What wasn't good about it? I looked into the cam!